February 16th. Faith in God's power. Then, Aaron, shall come out to the altar that is before the Lord and make atonement for it. He shall take some of the bull's blood and some of the goat's blood and put it on all the horns of the altar. He shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with his finger seven times to cleanse it and to consecrate it from the uncleanness of the Israelites. Leviticus 16 18-19 In the Old Testament, the blood of animal sacrifices had atoning power. Yet, when the high priest put the blood on the horns of the altar, he had to believe that God's power was great enough to atone for sin. After the sacrifices were offered on the people's behalf and the scapegoat was sent out into the desert, the people had to believe that the sacrificial offerings cleansed them from their sins. They needed faith in God's power to fulfill his promise. In requiring the high priest to sprinkle blood on the horns of the altar, I believe God was telling us, I want you to confess that I have power to do anything I have promised you. In the Old Testament, the power of atoning blood lasted only one year, the high priest returned each year on the Day of Atonement to sacrifice. Christ's death on the cross made these animal sacrifices obsolete because he sacrificed himself once, for all people and for all time, unlike the other high priests, he does not need to offer sacrifices day after day, first for his own sins, and then for the sins of the people. He sacrificed for their sins once for all when he offered himself, Hebrews 7:27. It is now up to us to believe in the power of his sacrifice on our behalf. This then, is our seventh preparation, to believe. Prayer, Father, thank you for sending Jesus to atone for my sins once and for all. I believe you have forgiven my sins. Help me not to take your power and love for granted. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thought, God has the power to do what he has promised. Reading, Leviticus 19-20, Matthew 27-51-66